Hey everybody here, Duxton, uh, and I will be doing this uh, quick video on how to uh, spec your artifact for a Vengeance spec uh, Demon Hunter, or at least how to get started. So uh, they just uh, put it, this in a new build. Uh, at the beginning, <laughs> before that, they actually had like only like the first, uh, like the first four or five uh, talents in there, and that's it. Now the full weapon is there. There is going to be more than likely some changes, but here's my thoughts on what uh, we should attack first as far as uh, talents is, uh, are concerned. So first we start from the beginning, we don't have a choice, so we have uh, uh, Soul Carver, and then the next spot we don't really have a choice either, and we, actually let me draw it, oh, let me redraw that because that's a little tiny. Let's make this thick, right? Right, there we go. So we go this route, bam, and we hit Devour Soul, which we don't have to take. Uh, soul, uh, so, uh, blah, blah, blah. I can't even speak. See what happens when I'm trying to do a video? That's what happens. I fuck it all up. But yeah, Devour Souls, right? There's three ranks of it. It's a passive. Soul Cleave heals you for an additional 1% of your maximum health when used. Now, uh, Soul Cleave is basically a finish move uh, for Demon Hunters. So it's just a nice little heal. Again, you don't have a choice, so you have to pick it anyway. So it's not. I'm going to really spend too much time. The next part, I'm going this way Woo. all the way here to infernal force which has three ranks and it does what it does is increases the damage of infernal strike infernal strike is basically heroic uh, leap from a warrior right so if you know your uh, classes it's a fairly uh, distinct move that everybody kind of knows and it basically does nice little aoe uh, damage around uh, the, the the demon hunter for about 5.5k i believe uh, roughly and then this is just buffing it on top of that so it's a really good thing to have and and by 15 percent plus whatever if you again when i say 15 percent that's the minimum it could be higher depending on your uh, runes that go into your artifact uh, power slots here so infernal uh, force uh, three ranks 15 percent to infernal uh, strike would be my next guess after that i would go this route Whoop and pick Scorch Ground. Uh, Scorch Ground basically gives you a second charge of Sigil of Flames. Sigil of Flames are really, it's, what, it's your best AoE basically, so you want that. And again, remember Sigil of Flame, fire damage, just remember that for later. So two charges, so you can use it, and then after that you can use it again. So really, really good to have, right? We talked about uh, Infernal uh, Force or Infernal Strike. And it will strike as two charges. So you can, like, it's kind of like doing, you could do, like, two heroic leaps in a row. Warriors would love that, but they don't, team managers can't. Well, with this, again, here you can do it, that with this AoE ability as well. Again, very, very good to have because the, the cooldown is very long. Also going to help you a, a ton keeping aggro on all these trash pools. So, again, a very good talent, whether you're doing dungeons, but especially if you're doing leveling because you're going to have to kill everything, it's going to help you a lot. Uh, next uh, spot, uh, stop is right here whoop, into Owned Warblades. Increases the damage of Shear by 5%. Shear is like basically your basic ability. that you It's a filler. It's what you use all the time pretty much. Uh, just when you have nothing on, there's always an ability that you can use. That's the one. So you buff that by 15% minimum. It's a very good thing, especially for leveling. Going to help you a ton. And then the next one is this one. Ooh. And this one is Charred Warblades. Heals you for 15% of all the fire damage you deal. So we talked about fire damage earlier, right? So th that AOE Sigil of Flame deals fire damage. So that's going to heal you for 15% of it. And you're already, uh, now you have two charges of that. So it's going to help you keep constant fire damage, healing you constantly. So again, really good to have. As well, but you, our next move after that is going to help us again with the same idea. What you want to do is go ooh, right here and pick up Aura of Pain. Increases your damage of emulation aura by 5%. Three ranks again. So more fire damage, more healing back to you. So again, this is basically the basic setup that I would start with. After that, it can be quite a bit uh, left for you to, to play with. But again, this is the, the basics. The next one, next thing, next move I would do if I did go further, I would go this route, pick this talent, which is kind of not that great, but again, it's not because of that talent that I'm going that way. Uh, Shear has a 5% uh, chance uh, 
to shatter a lesser soul fragment from the target while you are below 50% health. But again, I don't plan on going below 50%, so that doesn't really bother, that, bother that, me that much. What I want is this here. So we're going to go rip this way and pick up Fiery Demise. Three ranks again. Fiery Brand also increases fire damage you deal to the target for 10%. Three ranks. So again, you're dealing a ton of fire damage. You're healing a ton. So again, it's all going into that whole fire damage thing where you want to do as much as possible so that you don't have to worry about health whatsoever. So that would be the next move. And then after that, I would go this route and add two more seconds to my fiery brand so that now it's 10 seconds long. So I, uh, I get even a longer uh, cooldown. So again, this is the basics. After that, I mean, it's mostly like uh, defensive cooldowns or defensive uh, stuff. Don't want to go any further than that, but to me, the basics, right? Start, oops, start right up here, go this way, do this, and then come back here. After that, you can go wherever you want. But I think if you own that beginning there, it's going to help you a ton, having a lot of healing to you, even though you don't really necessarily need it at the beginning, but it's going to help you as well with the AoE damage because you're you're a tank let's not kid ourselves we like to pull lots of mobs and kill them all like slowly but surely but this is gonna at least buff your aoe quite a bit like all three of your aoe moves are, are being boosted so <laughs> can't cannot go wrong right so again thanks for watching and see you on the next video